And now here in the crossroads, yesterday we told you about a trash cleanup that happened in Matagorda Bay. This morning, our Valerie Perez joins us live in studio with part two of that story. Valerie? Yes, thank you, Haley. Yesterday we looked at the story involving the pollution problem in Port O'Connor. I spoke to another proponent about his journey towards trying to implement plastic bags being banned in Rockport. Let's check it out. So much of our plastic waste is ending up in our bays, lakes, ocean seas, and most importantly, water sources. According to the National Geographic, plastic trash flowing into the seas will nearly triple by 2040 without drastic action. When looking closer at this issue in Port O'Connor, I spoke to the retired operations director for Rockport Aquarium, Phil Wildfang, about the steps he and other organizations tried to take throughout these years to get plastic bags banned and in Rockport. He mentioned the drastic changes in Matagorda Island in the span of just 14 years. One of the weekends we spent studying barrier island ecology out on Matagorda Island and um, I was horrified uh, when I went out there. I had been on Matagorda Island many years prior to that and when I went back and we were in Alaska for I don't know, a dozen years, 12, 13 years, and uh, the island had changed so dramatically uh, as a result of the, the plastic garbage. Although this is a worldwide issue, Phil and others work together with the mayor of Rockport to try and get plastic bags banned in this city, but they were unsuccessful. In Texas, it comes down to... Uh, at least in Rockport and many other communities, it comes down to a fact, not the fact, but uh, the issue of personal liberty and are you infringing upon my personal liberties. For your hometown news, I'm Valerie Perez. For more, head on over to crossroadstoday.com and now let's check out sports.